of our own power, we of our own volition cannot come to God. Are we working together? So that's why we have this amazing promise uh, in the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3 where the Lord tells us, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Come on, let's get this clear now. Who has loved who? We have loved God. Who has loved who in this text? God has loved who? God has loved us. And how does he demonstrate this love that he has toward us? I have loved thee. With what kind of love now? Come on, come on. Let's look at the adjective. What kind of love? What kind of love? Is it a love only in the good times? Is it a love only in the day time? Is it a love only when things are going well? How much love is this love? Come on, speak to me somebody. Let's talk about the love of God. How much love is it? An everlasting love. It is very, it's very amazing. The Bible says that love is the expression of the character of God because God himself is love. Come on and say me some money. And because God is eternal, and because God is everlasting, then the love that he has for us is an everlasting love. And therefore, with that everlasting love, he has drawn us. He has drawn us from sin to holiness. He has drawn us from defeat to victory. He has drawn us from the hole of the pit to the solid rock. He has drawn us from the old song that we used to sing to a new song in Jesus Christ. He has drawn Drawn us from being losers to being winners. Can I speak through to somebody? He has drawn us from being trampled over to being triumphant in the name of Jesus. And I don't care where you come from tonight. I don't care what your lifestyle was before you came here. It was God that drew you here. And the Spirit of God is in this place to draw you from being a hopeless sinner to a triumphant saint in the mighty name of Jesus not by your might, not by your power, but by the power of the Spirit of the living God. Don't let nobody tell you that you've gone too far and you are too sinful and you are too dirty and you are too messed up. The devil is a liar. You can be transformed by the power of the indwelling Spirit tonight. If you desire, if you desire, if you will, just like the leper, Jesus can cleanse you and he can make you clean 